I want to be the person that is the first person there and the last person to leave. That's who I want to be because I think that the, the road to success is through commitment and through the strength to drive through that commitment when it gets hard. And it is going to get hard and you're going to want to quit sometimes, but it'll be colored by who you are and more who you want to be. It's really simple. If you want life to change, you got to change. If you want life to be better, you've got to get better. It's the only way it happens. And luck will show up for people and it'll leave them. But if you're constantly improving who you are and what you give, game over. See if you can find some ways to multiply your value to the marketplace. And he said your income will immediately start to change. See, if you go through life holding back, and most of us do, most of us, if we ask ourselves, have we done all we can do? Most of us will have to answer, no, we haven't. We've been holding back. We have ideas that we don't act on, things we want to do. We're afraid to take chances. We go through life trying to seek security and not coming outside of our comfort zone. And we take most of our stuff with us to the grave. Up until then, I was hoping that the economy would change. I was hoping that my company would change. I was hoping that my paycheck would change. I was hoping that circumstances outside would change. And then here's what I found out. It isn't going to change. So then my question was, if it isn't going to change, how will my life ever change? And here's what my teacher taught me. When you change, when you change, everything will change for you. And I'm saying that the fact that you're still here, that you're still breathing, you've got some more work, and you owe it to yourself. You owe it to yourself. So when you get up in the morning, that you can look yourself in the face and say, hey, I'm living my life on my terms. When you get better, everything will get better for you. And that's where I picked up that phrase, for things to change, you've got to change. You don't have to change the marketplace. You don't have to change the marketing plan. You don't have to change the economy. You don't have to change countries. You don't have to change circumstances out there. All you've got to do is look within and see if you can change yourself for the better. And as you change, things will start to change for you. What's the result I'm after? What's the ultimate result? What do I want out of this week, out of this thing, out of my business, out of my life, out for my body? Don't concern yourself too much with it how you're going to achieve your goal, leave that completely to a power greater than yourself. All you have to do is know where you're going. The answers will come to you of their own accord. Here's my best advice. Welcome all experiences. You never know which one is going to turn everything on. Are there going to be some moments when you want to give up? Yes. Will there be some moments when it's going to seem like it's impossible? The pain that you're experiencing, the disappointment that you're experiencing, that you're going to say it's not worth it? Yes, that's, that's going to be right there for you. It's, it's going to be in your face telling you to go back. When we think about changing our lives, usually that means changing your behaviors, retraining yourself, getting new habits going out and trying them out and changing your life. This is about changing your thoughts and then your life will change. Change your thoughts, change your life. Benjamin Disraeli said nothing can resist a human will that will stake its existence on its purpose. Shortly put, I'll do it or die. Know that all you have to do is hold your goal before you. Everything else will take care of itself. And I can tell you that it doesn't make any difference what age you are, whether you're a teenager watching this, or whether you're someone uh, in your 60s, 70s, 80s, or anywhere along the way, you can make that change. It's better to be prepared for an opportunity and not have one than to have an opportunity and not be prepared. People that are hungry know if you want to be successful, you must be willing to do the things today others won't do in order to have the things tomorrow others won't have. If you do what is easy, your life will be hard. But if you do what is hard, your life will be 
easy. If you do what is easy, your life will be hard. If you do what is hard, your life will be easy.